I'm going on holiday next week for my 40th birthday. Christ, that's half my life gone. I'm a little bit worried about my Acer because it's still potted. It's not in the ground yet. I will be putting it in the ground, probably somewhere over there. But for the time being, it does need watering on a regular basis. Now it is only May, beginning of May, so it's not bang on height of summer, although I will be going away in summer. So I thought I'd set something up quickly now, just in case. My outside tap is all the way over there. I'm not on mains, I've got a borehole in the middle of the field but I don't want to connect it to that. If something goes wrong, that's just going to be pumping and pumping and pumping thousands of gallons of water until we come back. But I've got this barrel here. So I picked up an electronic water timer. This one's from Screwfix, it's Titan. I also need this particular thing. So that's going to go in the barrel. Then I've got my tap and I've got a, an irrigation kit there and a step drill bit. The timer runs on batteries. Now the water, it ain't gonna have any pressure, is it? But I'm gonna use gravity to help with that. What are you doing, monkey? What doing? I need a roughly 27 millimeter hole. So we're just gonna draw around this just in case. Perfect. Just get these burrs off. Now this fitting has got two rubber washers and you want one either side, so you're gonna sandwich it in between. I could go with a little bit of silicone, but I'm just gonna go dry and see what happens. I'll see how tight I can get it by hand, but I might obviously need some grips or something. Once you've got it hand tight inside, you can just get adjustable spanner and the rubber washers hold it in place so you can see the washers getting squashed we have got a rubber washer in there but we might as just because I've got it we'll wrap some PTFE around here just keep in mind if you're doing this obviously this is going to be up in the air but remember that's going to be there and then you've got the other attachment over here so you're gonna have to raise it up quite a lot. The battery's going on the bottom on this one. There's a rubber gasket and it's just a friction fit. To connect it to your tap, you've got obviously these inserts. It depends on your thread on your actual tap. For my particular one, I need to take both of these out. So it's like that. So it's got the grid. That feels like it's gonna leak at some point. I need to take this off. Put that there and then screw that directly to it. There is a rubber gasket in there or washer, so it should seal. In my irrigation kit, I've got the tube in, I've got this attachment, and I've got some little T bits and these little things, I assume you put the tube in and it stands up. Apparently you just shove this tube straight into the end of that by like four centimeters. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> just a tip. I had to undo it to actually get that on. I'll slide that in. Let me do it up. This has got another rubber washer and a grill. I'll screw it on there. I just had a thought whilst it's got the grills to filter anything, uh, there is a bit of grit in this. So I'll probably wash that out just before I actually set it up properly. Come to think of it, I didn't need to wash it out because any sediment's gonna be at the bottom and then the water's gonna come out here. Now. I need to get that up in the air, so I was going to use this crate. This crate is 400 mil tall. My pot is 400 mil tall, but I need that bit there, so about 150. Hopefully this is strong enough. And this is about 150. <sighs> Whilst I've got loads of tubing, I only need to just walk with this. So I'm just going to cut this quite short. So about there. And then I'll stick one of these on the end. And then I'll hold it in place with this. It's quite tight. And then I'll stick that in the dirt. I need to decide on how often I'm going to water it, how long I'm going to water it for, and I have no idea how much water is actually going to come out in a certain time frame. So I think we better do a bit of a test first. I'm going to test it in the bucket first. 
fill this up. We'll have a go at setting the timer now. Right. I would imagine that all the timers are very similar. First, we can set the time. Uh, oh, don't tell me. Oh, this is going to take ages. Oh, there we go. Hold it down. <laughs> Start water. Let's give me, say, 15 minutes. Right, I've got 15 minutes to fill up the water, but uh, push OK, it'll go down. How long? You can time it as little as one minute. Let's say five minutes. Water every, so the minimum is every four hours. I'm gonna say every day. You can go up to every seven days. Program on. That's it, it's done. Right, we're close to the time limit. It's still filling out the things about there at the moment. Um, obviously make sure you turn your tap on. Uh, it's hardly coming out. Is it trying to come out? There we go. It's dripping. Well, that wasn't much at all. It was definitely a drip. Um, I don't know, maybe 100 millilitres. I'm just going to pour it in here. Check that. I was right. 100 millilitres. I'm doing all this. It's probably going to chuck it down all next week. And I'm going to wow's. Oh, it's gonna rain again <laughs> right so I need so if I leave it on for an hour I'm basically gonna get roughly about a litre I don't know how much to water this tree I have no bloody idea I have got holes drilled in the bottom I'm just gonna set it I know it's gonna rain next week but I'm gonna do a litre a day how does that sound do you think that I'm gonna end up over watering it if you know anything about this kind of situation then please do let me know i'm off now i need to get ready for holiday if you're interested in seeing me finish this based off then make sure you subscribe push the bell notification thanks for watching i'll see you later i thought i'd give you a quick update it's been going for a couple of weeks i've just left it as is that way it, i don't have to worry about water the tree because it does it itself i have ups the watering times i do it twice a day two liters at a time it's a little bit more than it needs, but it just drains out the bottom through the holes on the pot. I can top that up off my own water supply, so that doesn't cost me anything. The electric to run the pump, it's minimal, but I've got solar panels. So in essence, this is totally off grid. It does give me ideas though, because I do want a big greenhouse with one of them plinth falls around the bottom. And I could probably use the rainwater with water butts to use an automatic watering system just like this.